I'm gonna have to use all my abs. Did you see that? I, I'm, I've just used them all. But basically, I think I had 15 herbs and I just lost them all. One herb per health segment. It's not ideal. Okay. Right, so we're going to get into a bit of a ranged firefight again, and I'm going to crouch down here while I do this. If you can't see the uh, green sight that I'm using, congratulations, neither can I. <laughs> uh, he's mutating. I ran out of ammo. Now then, um, mutation-wise... I mean, I've concentrated all my fire on, like, one dude. I've blown his leg off, and then he's mutated his head. So, I think it's... someone. People keep telling me it's context-sensitive depending on where you shoot them. And then the game keeps disproving them at every turn. But now we're in a ranged firefight area, which is good. If by good you mean it's kind of awkward. Because the firefights are tough. This is definitely a third person shooter. Is it skill point? Nom nom nom. Nothing down there. Uh, emblems, I think I said I'm not going to bother. You unlock costumes and things. But because I've already done it and got all the single player related trophies anyway, and the platinum trophy, I don't really see the point. If I spot one, I'll try and knife it. Yeah, you can see what I mean. I, I, I'm out of pistol ammo already. That's kind of kind of bad. It's a bit bleak. Probably gonna get shot by a man while I'm checking the recording. Oh, it's recording. And I got shot by a man. Good. Luckily, he decided to taunt me. Oh, look at that. Look at that emblem there. See what I mean? They are really sneaky on this one. Now, one of the things is, the other mutations is if you destroy their legs, they will fly. Which is kind of weird. But once you mutate them, they seem to... They Even if they've still got a gun... Ow! I, damn it. Even if they still got a gun, punch him off the roof, break that guy's neck. They will, they will drop everything and just charge you, which can actually be kind of beneficial if you're getting shot apart like I was then. To suddenly um, have it removed from a ranged attack. Who's shooting you, Piers? Oh, there's a man up there! And as you see, it gave me skill points, which are always nice. How do I get up there? Am I getting shot? I was getting shot. I was getting shot by a guy right next to me. Uh, partly it's as as always I am playing with no audio. How do I get up there? Oh well. Okay. Okay. We RPG to the face. Now we're gonna get split up and I'm gonna have to hammer a button. And I hammered the wrong button. Uh. Look at that. Look at that. One health segment gone straight away. And I've got ten herbs, but it's not like I can use them. 
And the other thing is, if you get hit, did you see that twitch? Did you see that twitch? Little help here, Piers. Little help. Oh, he's got one of them. Alright, I'm going to have to herb up. Om nom 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 nom. Now if we were playing Piers, we'd have had to do the cover. We're not. We're playing Chris. Back in the fight. Getting more skill points. I honestly, I've not brought any skills or... Anything like that. Because I've only played this section. I think I've played this section three or four times now. I love how he goes into cover on a chain link fence. I think you come up here and... There you go, there's the leg transformation. Any C-virus part that mutates is a hell of a lot tougher to do damage to. You'll notice Piers is over there doing his thing. It's a whole bunch of boxes with skill points you could have picked up there, mate. You didn't, did you? Dickhead. Uh... Ho oh, ho, chunky kibble, beefy chunklets, etc. Bot over there. Grab some pistol ammo. Okay. So, yeah, this game does obey the chunky salsa rule. I kind of want to go up there. Don't think I can. And also, once again, we're basically playing blind, other than I got this game, played it for like a week, and 100%ed it. And then they brought out a bunch of multiplayer DLC that no one played, because why would you want to play multiplayer in Resident Evil? Um, I think Piers just shot that guy. I think he's over there, isn't he? Yeah, sniping for me. Whoa! Yeah. The C-Virus stuff, they kind of look like... Transformers. And they start doing this shit. Yeah, it's a little unpleasant. <sighs> okay. Ow. Ow. Oh. Where did you come from? He's dead now. And yet that one takes one to the face and dies. Oh. Just lost me a health cube of some description. And as per usual with Resident Evil, I think if they're on a ledge, they like just take more damage or something. Because they die a hell of a lot easier. Um, I want to throw a grenade and a flash grenade. No, I flashed myself. Hello, Scoobs. Please don't ruin this recording. It's nothing personal. Right, I'm going to get my assault rifle out now because I'm kind of out of ammo. Okay. Skill points. 
really throws the skill points at you. It's not hard to get skill points in this game. Piers is in trouble. More skill points. And ammo. Where's Piers gone? Circle, isn't it? He's down there now. Okay, how do I get off this? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so. So far, so Resident Evil, apart from... <coughs> apart from... This is why I had to re-record. Uh, I just want to get in the building. Which is, it's it's coming up now. It's not far. It's basically here. HQ an Alpha Team. Sie haben Pick Art fast erreicht. Okay. Are we going to jump? And yes, yeah, it's, it's fairly action packed for an introduction. I think the game wants you to play Leon first, but. Uh. Oh. Don't know where he's gone. Don't know where anyone went. Yeah, they're all mutating now. You really do not want these big armed guys near you. Throwing skill points at me. I'd much rather have ammo. <laughs> and herbs. There's some ammo. Handgun ammo. Okay. Up we go. So, action packed. No idea what's going on. You have to play through all the campaigns in order to uh, understand what happens and why Chris is such an angry, angry man. Oh, I didn't open that box. I'm pretty sure I did the same thing last time. Skill points. Can't buy any skills though. Okay. Uh. And we will also, obviously, play as peers at some point as well. Round it all out. We don't want to blow up any of these barrels because this is where we hold the line. Chris on HQ. We have peak ass Believe it or not. Bravo team wurde ausgesandt, um bei der Rettung zu helfen. Warten Sie auf weitere Befehle. Gut. Ich brauche eine Pause. Okay, hold the line until Bravo team arrives. Uh, I'm just gonna get instantly hit. GG. I think I'm dead. That was the quick shot then. I'm trying to pick up as much shit as I can. I mean, this is tough. They got guns. They're flying all over the place. These guys are. I hope they bring the Javo back, because like, the fuck is that? You know? Look at that. Ah, uh, god damn it! No, I'm gonna die. Only oh, just survived. Ich 
Fischer müssen wir erledigen. Und zum Teufel bleibt die Verstärkung. You just saw me using the quick shot again. If you tap or hold down left one and right one at the same time. I might die. I might die. We are in trouble. Ah, we're saved. The problem with this is that I actually need time to Ah fuck I'm dead. Come on Piers, get me up. Thank you. I need I've picked up herbs, but I can't use them. I've got an F8 spray. Or I haven't got an F8 spray, sorry. I don't know why I said I did. Oh, I've got... Look. Three herbs. I've got no ammo. No ammo. Okay, and that's the. This isn't the hard hard mode. This is literally I've not played this game in four years or whatever, six years. Whenever it came out, 2012. <clears throat> so I'm a bit rusty. Okay, and then we'll we'll pick up next time inside this building for more fun and games with Chris Redfield. HQ an Alpha, Ihre Mission liegt vor. Retten Sie die Geiseln auf der ersten und der siebten Etage und verlassen Sie das Gebäude. Sobald alle Teams raus sind, wird die Bombardierung gestartet. <sighs> okay. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I will be doing all the campaigns, but as you can see, it's been a while since I've played it, so I have no desire to do professional.